Yo, we are back with another special episode of The New Style. We are live at Giorgio's, the one in Buckhead, not Greenbrier, but you can shop at both. It's your boy, New Face, and I have a very special guest in the building. Hey, I, I, I started with hip hop, man, but when, when I get these comedians on here, man, these be some of my favorite fun shows, and these partners are like my personal friends, man. It's an honor to have some of these on, but today I have a very special guest. I'm talking about one that's great with the pen, with the mind, sense of humor, bar none. I've seen this brother take shows that were just just there, turn them up, the crowd laughing. He's got a set of jokes that I don't, if you ain't heard, man, you need to come up to one of his shows. I got my brother Tyler Chronicle. <laughs> yes, sir. I also have songs too, man. I'm hip hop. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, man. You heard it. Well, we're going to learn more song. about that, I'll man. I'll send them to you so you can post it on Send them to me, man. Yeah. Are they still on your MySpace page? <laughs> you heard? Did you hear they dumped all the information off of MySpace? Oh, shit, like you no. can't go back and get it. It was certain pictures that I knew uh, that yeah. only. AI has them now. Yeah, you're done. Hey, what is Iverson doing? That's how you everywhere. What is Iverson doing with my face? <laughs> That's how you everywhere. Then the AI in my space. You know, AI in my space. Well, welcome to Georgia. Hey, man, place. I appreciate you having me here. This is dope, man. First Congratulations on the new style. Hey, you new feel style, me? New style, new things. Come new, on, man. New things, I've man. never seen you in a leather shirt. Hey, that see. is funny. I'm trying new things. <laughs> yeah, hey, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm good. Got it just for old time. Nah, I'm good, man. I feel like I know. You know what? Come on. Come on. Woo! It's like uh, Eddie Murphy and Delirious or Raw? It's like Eddie Murphy and Vampire and Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> like that. yeah, That's the that. leather from the uh, limo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, though. I actually like that, that style. I, you know, I just okay. had to you, but I love yes, it. Yes, indeed. So we're live in Giorgio's. And we want to start off, for, first of all, where are you from, my brother? I'm from Inglewood, California, man. Los Angeles, for people that don't know. Um, yeah. Inglewood. <laughs> yeah. So when I think of Inglewood, first thing that pops in my mind is Mac 10. What about you? Mac 10? First thing I, that pops in my mind is Randy's Donuts. Um, mm. If anybody's seen anything, every B roll, uh, footage, video, music uh, video, movie, television show, you will see that donut. So that's now it's kind of been in drain. Have you ever ate there? Or? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even a donut person, though. You okay. know what? You know what's real? I didn't even really get to donuts until I moved to the Krispy South Kreme? and Krispy Kreme. Yeah, the hot light. Yeah, hot light. Like, I ain't never liked Duncan's or me Randy's. I don't, I don't know too many people that actually went to Randy's. It wasn't like oh, a thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not as touristy, I guess. I guess Harold's Chicken and Waffle. That's usually on people's list. Harold's? Randy's. You mean like Chicago Harold's? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Roscoe. Oh, Roscoe's. Oh, Roscoe. Roscoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely on people's list more than the donut spot, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so, Inglewood, man, what, what was uh, life like? As a young Tyler in Inglewood. Inglewood, man, I man, I could have been living anywhere in the world because Inglewood, just like most places in Los Angeles, was, was dangerous. I lived mm. there. I lived, I lived a, lot, a lot of places. I lived South Central for a while, and it was real dangerous. So I stayed inside, okay. and I learned how to do a lot. I, I played basketball with my GI Joes. Um, I put, you know, set them up. Were you buying football the villains with or the heroes? Were you, All of them. You bought them. Well, I wasn't buying none. I got seven G.I. Joes every Christmas for like five years straight. That was my gift. <laughs> and I knew it was coming and I did not yeah. care. That was that was what I needed. So so yeah, so I was inside a lot, you know what I mean? I did a little bike riding here and there. Um, but then basketball became my thing and I used to stay directly across the street from a place called Jim Gilliam in the jungle. Mm -hmm. Um, as you know, and um yeah, I just was staying. Nobody there never stole your bike? No, I, I haven't gotten anything like like anything big stolen. You know, okay. pencils, pens, man. Yeah, I st I really stayed out of the way, bro. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That gang, that gang. So that infamous, like, much. what set you from? Did that ever happen to you? Or yeah, you yeah, it, it'll happen. Like, you know, you hit them with the, you don't bang, and then it's on them to okay. like see if you want to. Every once in a while, you would have to just fight, just to fight. But did you have to have to pick a color type? So. Type of um, no, nah, I didn't really try to get too much into color. I'm still to this day like a black and gray person, probably okay. because of that. But yeah, I never really was into wearing colors. Or anything okay, anyway. and as a young Tyler, I, I would wear crazy colors like teal oh. and, and oh. lavender and salmon, salmon. <laughs> like Joe <laughs> colors. Yeah, 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 I would Joe before Joe, man. <laughs> Salmonella, you know. Salmonella, Sarsaparilla, oh, man. Salamander sandals. So, so a young Tyler, what mm -hmm. was the, the music sounding like? What were you listening to? Um, depending on how young we're going, man, the earliest memories of a superstar in music, I have an older brother, eight years older than me, and he, he played MC Hammer for the first time. Mm. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. It sounds like all the music my mom liked and the new music that I like, you know what I'm saying? It just sounded like everything. So Hammer was big, just the song. Mm -hmm. Um, also, uh, Criss Cross, 
Okay. That that made it out there for wow. being young. You know what I'm saying? Seeing some young dudes. They probably about our age or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that is, that's dope. These, these are kids doing music and it's dope. And then, you know, ABC came along and all that. Um, so that would be the earliest. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, probably the later teen type years was, uh, obviously Snoop Dogg, um, the chronic, mm -hmm. um, I wasn't, I didn't have an NWA kind mm -hmm. of thing, but I really like Ice Cube. Mm. You know what I mean? You, I wasn't. A, a, you, I didn't you, know. You, you know uh -oh. what I say? You, you I say the magic word. You name me his playhouse. You just name his playhouse. You just naming all type of things. And oh, come on, man. man! I'm saying, look what I got here, man. Listen, I tell you how much trouble this got everybody oh, in. Man. Right? I, I might have learned this. I might have learned this album in a day when I when I first got it. Uh, you bought it yourself with your own money, man. That's a tough question. And where did you buy music from? Or um, Dub, Sam Dub. Ash. Okay. Um, and, damn, what, did Circuit City used to sell tapes? I, it feel like some kind of off-brand off, off brand place. Not off-brand, but it's a place you didn't think would sell tapes. Then. Mm. It was just another one. Uh, but, yeah, man, woo-wee. Golly. Cause I'm yeah, I learned this joint in one day. Me and, me and the homie Rasheen, we sat in the house and listened to it all day. And by the time we got back to school, I had the whole... Hold on. So you remember in the classroom wow. there was a young voice in the back and you know who they end up being, right? That's Bow Wow, correct? Yeah, Bow Shad wow, Moss. Right. Shout out to Shad Moss. A, Shad a legend, Moss. man. He would be playing with him. Cause, you know, it's difficult to be famous when you're little and still be cool when you're older. And I oh, think man. he's done about as well as you could do. Wow. It'd be well, about as well adjusted as you could be. Everybody is, yeah. you know what I mean, a little off. What about yourself? Man. So so Tyler, as yeah. Tyler, who you are today, are uh -huh. you able to go back and see people in high school or elementary and, and there's still that type of thing or are they just like totally distant? And, and, and... Nah, you know, it's crazy. I just went and did, I was in LA last month and did Chocolate Sundays. Oh, the ladies that came in this motherfucker. Ladies that got all your side teeth. Let me hear you say, just... <laughs> okay. Uh, and um, about four of my elementary school friends came. Oh wow! And saw me. So I'm real. I actually still real tight with like three or four of my elementary school friends from That's great. from back in LA. So yeah, they came out, came with their wives. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Kicked it. We had a we had a really good time. Bought some of their friends too. So yeah, okay. it was dope. Oh, that's great. And you yeah. mentioned another one, South Central. Come on, man, brother, right here. What, Ice Cube. Which which is Jacking for Beats, man. That was my jump. But kill that wheel. Hold on, let me see what songs is on here. This was what they called an EP before the album. Jack and for beat. I was okay. I thought I was right. Jack and for beat. That was it, bro. Jack and for beat. I cannot tell you how many times I listened to Jack and for beat, bro. Ooh, you bought, yeah, you bought me back on that one. And then here, yeah, well, what were you at right. when this dropped? All right, so look, bro. I'm about to say something that's not gonna go over well. Didn't really listen too far. <laughs> <laughs> but where were you at when it dropped? <laughs> I'm trying to let me see it, but let me see the song. I gotta see the actual Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary. Okay. Uh, uh that time frame. Was it ninety seven, six? Well, this is yeah, so it's probably ninety seven by the time uh -huh. we heard this printed ninety six. Yeah, so uh, in LA ninety seven. I was just moving out. I okay. was just coming to the to the south. So that must have been like my transition. But I remember uh Hail Mary. Uh okay. Ambition of a Rider is my favorite Tupac song. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. Oh, wow. Um Hit him but up. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the uh, hit him up. So you know, my entire family's from New York, mm. um, and I listen to New York music. I so was a big Biggie. I, Biggie. I was a Biggie fan, man. And then um, you know, I listened to the songs, but I was just like, nah, Biggie, Biggie got it. Oh yeah, because yeah, when you hear one step, kaboom, black suits fill the room. I always close my eyes, and, and I literally see that. You can see it. the fire hydrant. <laughs> the Jamaican got a ticket. He got towed. Yes, sir. By a fire hydrant. Mm -hmm. You know. He's just painting that picture, man. So you say you got the influence from New York. So mm -hmm. what? So what were some of your favorite artists out of New York that you? Wu Tang, know? for the kids. Um, every one of them. Actually, I like all. Even, of even you got. Dang, <laughs> Jinx, you on me a soda. Why? Why are people doing you got like that? <laughs> um, Capadonna. Yeah, all of them. Seriously, oh, all of them. Yeah. yeah, like I love the when Hulu put out the. the oh yeah, I saga. love that one. Uh, I, except Rizzo, the guy doing the voice, too. I don't know what to He seems he's such a really good actor, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why he went overboard like that. It seemed like after he heard that people were talking about it, he went even further overboard. Yeah, that was a season. Like, yeah, he didn't even tone it down. It went higher. <laughs> oh, yo, the little, we have to put this together. So, 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 okay, Inglewood, yeah. we're growing up. Uh huh. How did comedy come into your life? Uh, Atlanta was the reason for that 
I was out here trying to go the basketball route, trying to get on as a uh, maybe a GM, like just work my way up to that because I played basketball in college and all that mm-hmm. X Y Z. Which so position? Play point guard and shooting guard, a little okay. bit of both, a uh, combo combination. Combination, oh. like Drake would say. <laughs> um, but when I got here, met with Remo, who I do the podcast with now, more than culture, and he was starting an improv group. And he was like, I'm starting a black improv group in the city with young people, you know what I'm saying, come through and let's see what we can do. Did that, and then from there, just kind of went on up and just got into the stand-up from there. And So you remember the with. first stage you got on? And the first stage I got on. on? Oh, man, you know what? You can help me. Uh, where, the Cave. Have you ever heard of a place yeah. called The Cave? Where is yeah. that? It was on Marietta Street. Marietta Street. Thank you so yeah. much. I was at The Cave. Oh, wow. Um, shout out to Southside Trio. He was part of the improv group. Needed a ride to his show at The Cave. I took him up there. Uh, Drew Thomas, comedian, first person, put me on stage. He was there. Okay. He was like, uh, you know, do you do stand up? I said yes. I'd never done it before, uh-huh. but I just said yes. And he told me to go up there. And I went up. I went up first and did my thing. And then I just kind of kept going from there. So, so prior to that, even back in LA, w- w- were some comedians on your radar, period? You know, like just people that I like to yeah. see that. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, so I, I used to watch comedy and think, oh, I could never do that. Mm-hmm. That's what, how I used to look at Eddie Murphy. Tommy Davidson, especially, he was mm. so funny to me. Uh-oh. You always, <laughs> ah, you always just New Face Playhouse. Yeah, man. So so did you have a So favorite? I wasn't, I, um, I did, like, this is actually my favorite. Here and Now is actually my favorite Richard Pryor special. Okay. Raw is my favorite. So you like Murphy purple leather over, all time. over uh, delirious red leather. Correct. You're more of a purple, purple leather. leather. Man, Raw was just so funny, man. It's just, and then just knowing, like, how how old he was, how new he was in comedy to do something for a movie and just be able to go in and out of character so seamlessly. Like real comedians know how difficult mm-hmm. what he did was. So that's why everybody my really favorite part talks was, about him, even favorite, though he ain't done stuff yeah. for a while. And my favorite part is like how this was a comedy special and I'm me and you know, we go to club, but this was at a movie and people That's what I'm saying. Filled out movie theaters to see a comedy in special. In the eighties, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you were to take some of these comedians like that, did you you know, again, coming to Atlanta, mm-hmm. what were some of the comedians that you seen or knew that were around around that time? Yeah, i um, seen a lot of people that I came up on. Uh, Tyler Craig was probably the first comedian that I knew from seeing on television that Shout actually to spoke him. to me. Yeah, rest in and peace. And the moral of the story is. Rest, Dirty South, South number again. one. Another rest one. in peace. Oh, man. Um, Rodney Perry, Rodney somebody Perry. that I had been seeing before. Yes, so, indeed. you know what I'm saying? Just people like that that I would see on a consistent basis. Um, and then you know, other comedians that I would get to know was like, oh, these guys are some of the funniest yeah. people on earth. You know what I mean? Like one of the first people I uh, saw hosting the show here in Atlanta was Carlos Miller. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's the funniest person on earth. <laughs> that's the first thing I said. <laughs> I said, oh, that's the funniest person on earth. I got it. That's where we at. Right, and I cool. was watching him at strip clubs and Man. pool halls and old national and doing the same thing. That's too. what people don't know. Like, he's trying to tell jokes and they over here watching the game. And I, but I saw it, yeah. and, you know, in school, but, you know, shot, but but that's yeah, what makes like you tough, though. That's yeah. that is Atlanta. That's you just telling jokes at different types of places. You know what I mean? And shit, I told a joke in a in a um, retail store before. Mm-hmm. I've I've, been, I've done that before. So that's Atlanta. So the, that's why people here, are, I think, are grade A. And, and and so you transitioned from the comedian. And mm-hmm. how did it come to writing? Now I see you doing some great things. Yeah. I always see you at BET Awards. Yep. Yep. And, and that is who you are. But as a writer, the pen. So talk about, you know, transitioning from the on stage, but actually pinning something for other people. Yeah, man. Um, it kind of came from, you know, obviously being on stage, people know you're funny, so they trust you with writing funny stuff. And then um, going and acting on different independent projects mm-hmm. and pilots and stuff like that, you get to realize that the writers didn't take any time with the actors to get to know us and figure out how to write for us. So we would, I would kind of go back in and do my own thing and, God. you know, rewrite. So that was kind of like my first foray into it then when i was on the show called boss up the uh it was like a pilot mm, yeah um we would have celebrities come in and they would ask me to write them into the scenes that we already had so that was kind of it and then it moved on forward to you know helping out and doing consulting on wilding out and that moved to shit now you, you're not about to have a, a award show without me writing for it if somebody black <laughs> straight up straight up i don't care who it's taraji uh fat joe 85 south um um Keep going. Uh, Keep Tashina going. Arnold. Going. Uh, 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 God, I can't. We're going to put it all just going to pop man. all the shows yeah, like I pop can't. up video. We're going to pop <laughs> yeah. up. We ain't going to see your face no more. The last, the last, since 2019, Lil Duval um, was the first person I wrote for. So mm-hmm. since he did anything else you've seen on Viacom, I probably 
Yeah, and now let's talk about you're part of a great collective, man. Um, mm-hmm. Shout out to uh, the guys, Remo, Kamal, Ronnie Jordan, and yourself, man. And shout out to Goldie as well, man. More yeah, than culture. How did that come about? That culture, good. man. Remo, again, and Kamal. They actually um, started on their own before I even knew what a podcast was. They had another young lady that was a part of it. Um, and then I would still go up to the studio just to kick it with them because, you know, we still had to report from from doing uh, improv. Mm -hmm. And man, you know, I just kind of started sitting in. Then Ronnie came one day and he sat in and then it just kind of organically came together and we was like, all right, it's part of it. So Remo and and Kamal are credited. You know, I credit them with starting more than culture. Oh, wow. Do you remember the first show with you all four of you guys? No. Or was there a guest? (laughs) No. (laughs) Was it the studio at the Met at least? It was at the Met. Yeah, that's it was where two really different started. studios at the Met. Yeah, that's where we, that's where we got everything started. Well, that's where Remo and Kamal. I, well, you know what? Yes, they did. They started where um, eighty five was doing their old oh, trap yeah. joints, mm-hmm. like in that back room. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah. they started there. Then we came after that. And, and, and you speak about eighty five South Show, and I just seen that you guys have joined forces and collab yes, like X Men in the event. <laughs> yes, man. sir, man. It only you makes sense. Only makes sense, man. That, uh, we got some people that's close to us that we that we've always, you know, you know, dealt with and, you know what I'm saying, they always show love and we show love to them, of course, and been knowing each other for so long, it only makes sense to do that partnership and get on their app and take advantage of, you know, our content as opposed mm-hmm. to getting our content taken advantage of. So one time for 85. And, and, and I always say, man, I, I call you like fundamentals of comedy, right? Come like, on, man. Like, 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 like really textbook, I like to call it. Like, it's like, it, it doesn't look like it, from the cover, mm-hmm. and I and that's what I love the best about this gentleman's comedy. Like, you, you, it's so unexpected, but I've never seen when he's get off stage where they're like, "What the fuck was that?" No, they're <laughs> laughing. The fans come up to you. You really give a good product when you come. Um, Thank you, man. Is there a, a blueprint to what you do, or is it just really you? Are you like combining? Some people be like, "I take a little of this and this of this." Yeah, good question. Um, again, I just want. I probably would. My style, I would have to credit it to Atlanta and, like you're saying, coming up just in that Atlanta, in that Atlanta scene and just having to make sure you grab people's attention mm-hmm. because they are, you know, playing shooting pool or shooting dice or arguing or watching a football game or mm-hmm. whatever it is. So if you can grab their attention there, when you get to a place where people are actually sitting down in there for comedy, mm-hmm. you're kind of doing the same thing, but they already have their attention, so it just raises it up yeah. even more. And, so, you're, yeah. and you're part of a class of comedians that there were a large group and some of those guys didn't, it's not as popular. Or I'm the good. only one that made it. That's okay. <laughs> Name somebody else to start when I started. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> you were there. Like, there's a class before me and after me that is tremendous. Well, but my four years? Nah. <laughs> it's, it's it's just out of my mouth again. <laughs> this guy. Well, are we the same? What sign are you? <laughs> I'm an Aries, dog. Okay, Capricorn. Okay. <laughs> And so again, LA, right? Yeah, let's go. Let, let, we, What's in the bag? We, we're gonna talk hood movies. Come on, let's go. We're gonna do hood movies. Let's I, go. I got a couple, man. Mm. Would you want to rank these? Let's go. Hmm. We're going boys in the hood. Okay. Just because it was uh, uh like the first of its kind, really. And then your fifth one would be something that I didn't bring that you want to copy put that. In. So he got boys in the hood. Boys in the hood. One of kind. Um. Number two is going to go, I'm going to go with, man, I, this is going to sound crazy just being a West Coast dude, South but I'm going to go with Belly. Oh, Belly? Okay. I'm going to go with Belly, man. Okay. I'm going to go with Belly two. at number two, man. The the opening of that, I still watch that to okay, this that's day. The, yeah, that's the greatest scene. Uh, Menace. Menace, you got three. You know what I'm saying? No offensive choices. Classic. Classic, but it would have to be four. Okay. But what would oh, be well, I put another one yeah. in there before that. Um, State property. <laughs> I did like state property, um, but I'm gonna go paid in full. Paid in full. I'm gonna go paid okay, in full. Okay, paid in full, and then that yeah, one. I'm gonna go paid in full. So yeah, that ain't a bad lineup. If you had like a, if you was uh, you know what I'm saying, messing around with a, a woman that's under thirty, that's this would one. be a good lineup of things to show her to let her know about yourself. <laughs> 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 this would be a, your Netflix and chill playlist. Type you feel thing. me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blockbuster and chill. Yeah, and, take and, it back. And and, and and you are again. You say fundamentals, but I I'll, I'll add another one. Team player, because again, morning mm-hmm. culture, eighty five South, wild and out. Mm-hmm. Now another one I got over here. Uh oh, I didn't even know we're doing a treasure hunt. 
What we got? Oh man, the High High Mafia. And this one's a rare one. That is so rare. No, and I'll let him tell it. This is huh? Oh yeah, this is this is super rare. This is the first print. Um, it doesn't even have my name spelled correctly. (laughs) So, (laughs) so this is like a a one of one, man. It's definitely gonna be worth something one day. (laughs) But Erica don't even look like Erica on that. Oh (laughs) shit. But yeah, yeah, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Took for putting that whole thing together, man. This is what one like the strongest call from that. Hey, it wasn't a call. It was a. It was a. It was a text. Mm. It was a text from Tip at like two in the morning. That's and said like we'll right. be a conglomerate of <laughs> individuals. <laughs> I read it in his voice. <laughs> and nigga said, "Send three drops of blood to Grand Hustle Studio." <laughs> So hold on, man. I ain't getting no Oh, no, none of that shit. <laughs> so this collective is oh, well, wow. but being a part of Tip as well, you're part of a, a feature film called The Apartments. The Apartments, man. You know what time it is, man. You was there. New Face was there. Yes, indeed, um, man. I can't wait to it to come out. And man. actually, I was excited because I was telling Tip, I was like, the film ain't even came out, but they done made the animated movie. I seen it on your page. <laughs> they done animated the flick. Yeah, already. Got, got the cartoon part. So it's a lot of, it's, a, it's that's part of the movie that, it, you know, becomes a cartoon cartoon as well so that's mm-hmm. pretty dope man but yeah apartments man i've actually was um in on the edit mm-hmm. and it's rare that you edit something and you laugh damn near every single time so that yeah. let me know that this is this is this yeah. is one of those and ones. that was one of the rare times where he was like this for this generation and i believed him like you we've seen a lot of people yeah. cast, but you me and you know the arsenal of people that they exactly. had on that set yeah. and those were like you know yeah now nah, people that know know you know what i mean i did i think it's a uh is this something that's it's good to just sit back, enjoy yourself, you drink, smoke, whatever, mm-hmm. and just sit back and just watch it and laugh and forget about, you know what I'm saying, your bad day. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's, it's going to be perfect and, for that. And so now, right now, we're celebrating 50 years of hip hop. Yes, we are. Um, comedy game is much older than uh-huh. hip hop, right? Uh-huh. But there's a legacy and there's a story there. Um, is there a, a comedian that you know of that you like? doesn't really get mentioned enough that you want to use this platform to at least just say their name to be like you oh know. okay yeah man listen uh my this is my dog so this is i'm kind of biased the darren big baby brand man listen i've i've done 100 shows with him mm-hmm. and when i say i didn't seen him kill all of them man is, is a beast you know what i'm saying people that know no yeah. you know what i mean i've but, seen him on the tour what bigger and with with big as fuck with him and him, uh, him and Ronnie did a tour. Oh yeah, I was on there too, but I wasn't big though. Yeah, see, I was, <laughs> yeah, and that was a while back. Boy, you remember everything. But yeah, was we here? Did we come Ronnie to Atlanta? Like, and I told him that we're gonna make the Oreo or because it was. <laughs> big guy. I was like, we're gonna be a hundred and one. Yeah, I was like comedy one on one. I'm just kidding. Y'all was zero one. Oh, yeah, one hundred. That's it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, man, but yeah, definitely, most definitely. But yeah, my dog, big baby man, he's, he's man. a beast up there, man. So yeah, shout out to him. If you haven't seen any of his stuff, go to his page and check it out. See where he's gonna be. And, and we actually starting a tour together coming up, man, called the High Dynamic Duo. I know. Yeah, I think you're gonna love our artwork because it's it's a it's very um, red and meth inspired. Oh, okay. You know what I mean in terms of their tours and their movies they did together. Oh, so. I thought you were gonna say because I'm on the flyer. Okay. You was on the red meth flyer? No, I thought you was gonna say you'll love the artwork because oh. like you know. I mean, it can happen. I'm gonna holler at Frico Rico see if I can get. Oh, something Frico. Like, yeah. Speaking like, of Frico, hey, hey, we'll just backtrack. Frico did a shirt, but it was inspired by a quote that says. If you say Atlanta man in the mirror <laughs> three times, what happened? Fabo show up. <laughs> <laughs> I put this post out and immediately it was like, no, this, we got something here. Yeah, like, man. Brother Tyler and Goldy and I called up Fabo. We put something together, man. And Butter ATL said, oh, we got to be a part of this. And mm-hmm. I called Frico to make the shirt. And you're the infamous part down there like this, man. <laughs> yeah, you got to run that over here. <laughs> that we got to put this on the clip. But, that was funny. But what's coming up? And also the Cube, man. Yeah, Talk man. about the Cube and working on the Cube. Yeah, man. Um, anybody doesn't know, the Cube is a game show. It came over from London. Now it's hosted by Dwayne Wade. And there is a voice of the Cube. And I am that voice. You must rapidly pinch a number of balls to fill the target container within 25 seconds. Enough balls must land in the container so that the top of the final ball is above the silver line. Shaq, do you still have what it takes to score under pressure for $1,000? And I also, you know, write the monologue for D-Wade and all that, man. So check it out. Uh, you can go, It's online right now. You know what I mean? You have to check it out because the season is over with. We've had two seasons and, um, you know, working on bringing up a third season. Okay, congratulations. Mm-hmm. So Thank just you, for my records, could you give a drop? In the voice of the cube and say, New Face was there? All right. Hello, New Face. 
This is the new style. And you're watching it. I'm the cube. And I'm blowing it. <laughs> That's the voice I know to say. Though. <laughs> Got the voice. Yeah, so did you try multiple variations? So when you hear it on TV, it's not even what I'm doing. But I'm doing that because we do have a live studio audience. So I try to mm -hmm. give it give it that little. Play. But yeah, I do that right there. Did the variation. Yeah, and I, they say I can say anything I want because sometimes they'll just voice it over. Yeah. So I'll be cursing and everything. So oh. people laughing. But ooh, that shit was fire. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> So going on, moving forward, man, what you got coming up in the future, man? And what should my guess Exclusive, bro. I'm in a, uh, I got to tell you, I ain't telling nobody else. Oh, shit. I got to tell you, because you're a new. Detroit uh, native. But I you're working with Eminem. You signed a shady record. Bam, 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 bam. No, I'm finna fight Terrence Crawford and Eminem walking me out this time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be in uh, season three of BMF. Oh, yeah, man. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the Detroit. I'm on the Detroit side, too. So Meech's going to help you bring your groceries to Nah, Meech's going to be here. Oh. I'm going to be up there with Terry. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, Detroit version. Yeah, I'm on okay. the Detroit so version. Of I got to get you a Detroit style <laughs> coat. I already shot it, but yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. You heard it here first, <laughs> man. He catch his brother in BMF. Can yeah, we get man. your character name? Uh, ooh, I wonder if I'll oh. do that. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> how, how does he stand? He's staying like me. It's me. It's you. It's me with a nautical jacket on. Oh, man. <laughs> so so what I like to do now is well, one of my favorite things I like to do is something called Relay. Usually it's Rapper Relay with DJ Jelly. As you oh, I'm trying to remember what the hell my name was in there. You Because go, <laughs> I can't Don't tell you. Ah, uh, 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 Lops. Like Cyclops, there it is. I'm like, why am I saying low? So Lops, like man. Cyclops, yeah. Well, you got one eye missing. Okay. So the the um, the character called for a gentleman with a lopsided head. And I got it. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to get typecasted? Like we got this brother here, he played lopsided. I don't want to get cast. If you be uh be um talking about, yeah, I don't want to get typecasted. I don't give a fuck. Cast don't me as the you. same person in every single movie you shoot. That dude Hector, I the Spanish guy. Thank you. Yeah, I will show up, up. <laughs> as that. All right, what were you saying? My fault. Uh, Lops, that was it. We're going to do comedian relay, right? right. So it, what this entails is I name a comedian, you name a comedian within at least three to four seconds. Jesus Christ. All right. And whoever goes over mm -hmm. three or four seconds loses. All right. So you ready to go? Tough. All right, I'll start off. All right. Earthquake. Ronnie Jordan. Mike Epps. Spencer Neal. Erica Duchess. Michael Blackson. Nav Green. Jay Ski. Carlos Miller. Tip Harris. k Dub. <laughs> uh, Burpee, Tyler Chronicles, B Dot. Uh, oh, I feel like that's four five seconds. Let's yeah, go. Got me. Let's go. You got I'll me. just name all my friends. Yeah, me I too. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't even get to the legend part. Nah, that, all right. Okay, man. Nah, for sure. So now we're going to just do this with uh, actors. All right, again, here we go. Mm -hmm. Go actors. All right, all right you ready? Mm -hmm. Set to go. Mike Epps, Ryan Gosling. Eddie Murphy. Tip Harris. Denzel Washington. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Oh, dang. Uh, Ice Cube. Dave Chappelle. Cuba Gooding. Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Nas. Tom Hanks. Oh, that was a trick answer. Is oh, Nas? Nas? An answer? Nas? Good actor. Really? <laughs> That's one of my favorites. <laughs> Come on, man. Lorenz Tate. Uh, Reese Witherspoon. Juicy J. Angela uh, Bassett. Taraji P. Henson. Juicy J, back up. <laughs> <laughs> See? I understand you. Oh, oh, he went, nah. Slide. The Juicy J don't go. He's on the credits, man. All right. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Cool, man. We're going to try it, man. My God. I just like to throw shit in there. Yeah, <laughs> That's uh, funny. Welcome, man. But we are live here at Giorgio's, man, the new style. We got Tyler Chronicles. Stay tuned. Let's go. Bam. <laughs> 